Welcome to Basketball U. If you're new to Basketball U, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Basketball U. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Today we are going to talk about probably one of the most underrated Lakers of all time. This lottery pick took no prisoners with his pure athleticism and tenuous defensive made him a fan favorite in LA. He was a three-time All-Star and led the league in steals in one year, which is a pretty hard thing to do in a league with such great players. He also helped mold a young Kobe Bryant as he was a mentor to what we know now as one of the best players to ever grace the court. He has made such a good impression on the league, he got an opportunity to sign an exclusive deal with the Jordan brand. Basketball U family, meet Eddie Jones. Jones played college basketball for Temple from 1991 to 1994. In his final season with the Owls, he averaged 19.2 points per game and led them to the Elite Eight of the NCAA tournament. In 1994, he was named Atlantic 10 Player of the Year. The Lakers selected Jones with the 10th overall selection. Lakers general manager Jerry West stated, we wanted the best pure athlete available, and Eddie was too good to pass up. In his rookie season, Jones averaged 14 points per game and 2.05 steals per game as he played in 64 games, 58 which he started. He also led the NBA in steal turnover ratio 1.75, placed fourth in the NBA Rookie of the Year ballot and was on the 1994-95 NBA All-Rookie First Team. In the 94-95 All-Star Weekend Rookie Challenge, he won the MVP, posting a game-high 25 points, 6 steals, and 4 rebounds. With the combination of size, athleticism, and defense, Jones began to draw favorable comparisons to another former Lakers great, Michael Cooper. Cooper himself said that looking at Jones on the court was like looking in a mirror. Jones will become an, an integral part of the Lakers squad, along with Nick Van Exel and Cedric Sabalos as the Lakers made the playoffs and upset the Seattle Supersonics in the first round, 3-1, before facing the top seed San Antonio Spurs, led by league MVP David Robinson. The younger Lakers managed to push the Spurs to six games before losing the series, with Jones averaging 8.7 points off the bench in his first playoff run. The following year featured Jones solidifying his position as the team's starting shooting guard, as Jones started 66 of 70 games and averaged 12.8 points a game for the season. The Lakers improved their total record to 53 wins bolstered by the mid-season run of franchise legend Magic Johnson out of retirement. The Lakers made the playoffs again, but could not defeat the defending NBA champion Houston Rockets, who defeated the Lakers 3-1 in the first round. Jones averaged 17.3 points in the series. After his second season, Jones switched from number 25 to number 6 as the Lakers had retired 25 for Gail Goodrich. Now being a part of Jordan was special since it was tied to the greatest name in the history of the sport. To be able to have your name associated with the brand and be handpicked was a special moment, not only for the players, but for the brand as it looked to grow as big as MJ's career. Eddie Jones, then a third year shooting guard with the Los Angeles Lakers, found himself for endorsement renegotiation with Nike after rolling with the sneaker giant for the first few years of his NBA career. In hopes of learning the 1997 All-Star who played in the glamorous Hollywood market, Reebok, Adidas, Fila, and Puma all went after Jones. 
Yet the bidding war came to a screeching halt once Jordan came calling. When the best player on the planet, the best player to have a basketball in his hand, really wants you to be a part of something, I mean, you jump on board, said Jones. He selected six as growing up. He was a fan of Julius Irving. In the offseason, the team acquired superstar center Shaquille O'Neal and traded Vladi Divac to the Hornets for rookie guard Kobe Bryant. Jones played and started in 80 games, placing second in the team in scoring with 17.2 points and fourth in the league in steals with 2.4 a game. He also played in his first NBA All-Star game, scoring 10 points in 17 minutes in the 1997 All-Star game. Led by O'Neal, the Lakers won 56 games before defeating the Portland Trailblazers in the first round of the playoffs but fell to the top seed Utah Jazz in five games in the conference semifinals. Jones struggled in the playoffs as his scoring average fell to 11.2 in the postseason. In the 1997-98 season, Jones averaged 16.9 points with two steals a game and scored 15 points with 11 rebounds in the 1998 All-Star game. His pesky defense also earned him a selection to the NBA All-Defensive second team. The Lakers won 61 games and defeated Portland and Seattle in the first and second round of the playoffs. The team failed to win a game in the conference finals against the Jazz, however. As the veteran team swept the Lakers, Jones averaged 17 points with two steals in 13 playoff games. The following season would be shortened to 50 games due to a league lockout. With Jones starting the first 20 of the season, before he and Eldon Campbell were traded to the Charlotte Hornets for Glenn Rice, J.R. Reed, and B.J. Armstrong on March 10, 1999. Jones was a mentor for Kobe Bryant during his time with the Lakers, as both had ties to the Philadelphia area. With Jones having attended Temple University and Bryant having attended Lower Marion High School near Philadelphia, Jones started in 30 games for the remainder of the season with the Hornets who did not make the playoffs. But Jones played second in the league in steals with 2.5 a game and made the all-defensive team for the second straight year. Jones' following campaign with the Hornets from the 1999 to 2000 season was his finest statistically, as he averaged 20.1 points, led the league in total steals with 192, and steals per game 2.7, along with 4.2 assists and 4.8 4.8 rebounds per game. Jones was also voted to start at guard for the Eastern Conference in the 2000 NBA All-Star Game and scored 10 points in 21 minutes. The Hornets won 49 games and made the playoffs, losing in the first round to the Philadelphia 76ers in four games. At the end of the season, Jones was named to the All-NBA third team for the first time and was named to his third straight All-Defensive second team. Jones became a free agent after the season was over and talked with the Chicago Bulls and Orlando Magic, but wanted to play for his hometown of Miami. After re-signing with the Hornets, he was traded with Anthony Mason to the Miami Heat for Jamal Mashburn and P.J. Brown. The acquisition of Jones was an attempt by Heat coach Pat Riley to improve his team into a title contender. Before the start of the 2000-2001 season, however, The team's star center, Alonzo Mourning, was diagnosed with a rare kidney disease, meaning Jones would have to carry the team's offensive load even more than originally attended. He would go on to play consistently at both ends on the floor, averaging 17.4 points a game and leading the team in scoring despite only playing in 63 games for the season. Jones and Mason led the team to 50 wins, and Morning returned in late March, but the Heat were swept in the first round of the playoffs to the six seed Hornets, despite Jones averaging 19 points in a three game series. Morning returned to full action in the next season, and Jones started 81 games for the team and led in scoring again with 18.3 points a game. The Heat failed to make the playoffs, however, and with Morning's disease returning, he will be left out of the entire 2002-2003 season, forcing Miami to enter a rebuilding phase. Jones only played 47 games during that season due to his own injuries, 
but once again led the team in scoring with 18.5 points per game. In the offseason, Riley revamped the roster as Morning left to join the New Jersey Nets. While Miami drafted Dwayne Wade and acquired Lamar Odom from the Los Angeles Clippers to join Jones and second year player Karan Butler. Riley also stepped down as coach just before the season started with longtime assistant Stan Van Gundy taking the helm. Despite starting the season 0-7, the 2003-2004 season proved to be a success for Miami, with Jones sharing a balanced offensive attack with Wade, Butler, and Odom, but still leading the team with overall scoring with 17.3 points a game. Jones led third in the league in total three-point field goals, and Miami finished the season with a 42-40 record to make the playoffs with the fourth seed in the East. The Heat will go on to defeat the New Orleans Hornets in a difficult seven-game series in the first round in which the home team won each game before losing in six games to the top seed Indiana Pacers in the conference semifinals. Jones averaged 13.2 in the postseason. In the offseason, prior to the 2004-05 season, Miami made major roster changes, trading Odom and Butler along with center Brian Grant for Shaquille O'Neal, Jones' old Lakers teammate. Although Jones started the season at the shooting guard position, he would move to the small forward position with Wade taking over as the team's starting shooting guard. The result was a blossoming season for Wade, combined with the dominating presence of O'Neal. Jones saw his scoring output dip to 12.7 points per game, but he remained a crucial three-point shooting option for Miami as the team won 59 games and was the top seed in the Eastern Conference. Near the end of the season, the Heat also brought back Alonzo Mourning, and the team would sweep New Jersey and the Washington Wizards in the playoffs before facing the defending NBA champion Detroit Pistons. The Heat took a 3-2 series lead after five games, but faced difficulties with an injury to Wade. And the Pistons rallied to win game six in Detroit and game seven in Miami. Jones averaged 13.7 points throughout the playoffs. Miami was disappointed to have just missed the chance to make the NBA Finals and Riley decided to part ways with Jones after five seasons as he was dealt to the Memphis Grizzlies for James Posey and Jason Williams on August 2nd, 2005 in a record five-team, 13-player trade. In Memphis, Jones started in 75 games, averaging 11.8 points with 1.7 steals a game as the Grizzlies made the playoffs but were swept in the first round by the Dallas Mavericks. Jones started in 14 of 29 games the following year for the Grizzlies before getting waived by the team on January 30th, 2007. On February 1st, 2007, Jones signed a minimum contract for his second stint with the Miami Heat, playing increasing minutes after Wade's shoulder injury. The Heat won the NBA title the previous year but struggled throughout the season with injuries to Wade as Miami fell in a four-game sweep to the Chicago Bulls in the first round. After the 2006-2007 season ended, Jones became an unrestricted free agent. Jones signed a two-year deal with the Dallas Mavericks on August 3rd, 2007. On October 10th, 2008, Jones was traded to the Indiana Pacers. After being traded to the Pacers, Jones had his contract renegotiated, which enabled him to pursue playing for another team or retire. Days later, on October 16th, he was released from the Pacers in order for them to free up cap room. A lengthy career for this three-time All-Star and the leading player of steals in the 1999-2000 season with a brilliant career for Eddie Jones, a role player that played great defensively and offensively. This is Basketball U. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball, a lot of players, and a lot of training and more information on how to play the game of basketball.
Remember, someone's always working. Are you? 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 You?